Let's see if I can do it without my blood buff. Did you see it? The headless corpse? Yeah, it's kind of hard to miss. He done tore him up, right in two, ripped him apart like a rag doll. Who was it? These two guys, the dead guy, another, and well, they showed up. I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. Who was the other guy? A dead fella called him Muddy. So, this dead guy and Muddy. What were they doing? Uh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting, well, he was late. So the one guy leaves to find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Oh, well, that's when the killer, that's when he showed up. Showed up? One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows, he come up. Scared the shit out of the dead guy. I liked to scream, but I couldn't breathe. You're lucky you didn't. Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. The dead guy went white like he'd seen the devil, and then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. What did he say? Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was and then ripped him open. It just tore him apart. He did it real slow and made the guy scream. Now be a good boy and forget everything you saw here. Okay, okay, I will. I don't want to ever think about that again. You better. Okay. That was a lot. Oh, another car stereo. What? Get away from me! Leave me alone! I need to ask you something. <coughs> oh, you do? Well, I don't believe you. You're after my aluminum cans, aren't you? Well, you're not gonna get them. Just get away! Ah, uh, would 20 bucks change your think your thinking? Ah, oh, okay. All I know is that old Tin Can Bill, he's been jabbering about some kind of monster that took him somewhere and got him sick. And that's all I know, okay? And that's all I'm saying. Okay, where's this Tin Can Bill, then? Well, you can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar over there. All right, thank you. Who's there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is that you, Betty? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. Well, it's not Betty, but I heard that you can tell me why everyone is getting sick. Yeah, I might be able to. <laughs> but I'm awful thirsty tonight, miss. Could you spare five bucks for a man who's been down on his luck? Okay, fine. <laughs> Thank you much. <coughs> I'm going to have to go pick up some hooch. <coughs> For medicinal purposes, you know. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Now, well. I know you ain't going to believe old Bill, because I've been telling my friends and the cops and everyone since it happened. 
and people just say that it's the hooch talking and nothing more. All right, well, that's fine. I'm, I'll, I will believe you, Bill. It was a monster, you see. A monster with his face all twisted and ugly, teeth longer than your finger, and these eyes piss yellow and full of hate. I've never seen eyes like that before, still giving me bad dreams. Okay, well, just tell me where the hell this so-called monster is. <laughs> Came up through the sewers, he did. Just around the corner there. <laughs> Don't want to go back to the bad place, friend. <laughs> Don't let the monster come back and take me there. <laughs> okay. I, I won't. Everything's gonna be okay. Thank you for the information. That's a bummer. And he died. Well, I guess that was a waste of five bucks. I'm rotting fresh. Looking for a free meal, little bloodsucker. There's meat galore in my kingdom. Who the hell are you? Brother Canker, they call me. High Lord in the diseased halls of the dead. Look around you. The blood. The bloated bodies. The maggot-ripped mortal shells. These are the signs. The coming of a new age. Why are you feeding on the homeless? They are the weak, sick, hopeless. I bring them a new purpose. They are the vessels of darkness, carrying the diseased truth in their veins. They're dying. What the hell is going on here? The Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. The darkest dawn is almost upon us. Join us in these last nights, spreading our disease upon the earth, sharing this unholy communion with our human heart. <sighs> Ew, you've lost your marbles. The doors have been opened, the seals broken, and the final steps into the abyss, the terrible mysteries of the ninth circle. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but I've heard enough. Come, join the disciples who have gathered here, floating in their own putrescence. I will show you the mysteries of our brotherhood as I feed on your flesh! Yeah! Oh. Alright, well, let's go. Why?
sorry rats. I'm sorry, but I can't go in frenzy again. blood as much as I can. Whoops. I'm sorry. Had to. Which way? This way. I think that's this way. I took care of Patty. Patty. Hey, ghouls ain't nothing but trouble, you ask me. It's a weakness. Pure and simple. I did what I did for the good of the masquerade. Alright, let's go talk to Dan. Ugh, can Ugh, you too. Right on. Except we just did a second one over near the convention center. They're part of some doomsday cult, apparently. No telling how many there are, but it's open season on all these sick sons of bitches. Um, alright. I'll start looking into it. Goddamn kid. You guys are all the Sorry, Henry, but I got the whole city shouting in my ear right now. We'll have to rant some other night. Oh, okay. So I think we need to go to four. I think. Okay, not four. Try five. Try five. He's dead. Let's see what's upstairs. I don't think there's anything up here. Oh, what a nice room. Okay, nothing there.
like 12.03 or something. sent me over. I'm a friend of his. He did? Uh, that's so sweet. <coughs> He's such a nice guy. Is everything okay with him? Yeah, yeah, sure. You sound pretty sick though, Hannah. <coughs> I don't really know. I, I've taken all kinds of medicine, but I can't seem to get rid of it. I, I feel like I got a fever and a sore throat. <coughs> I'm real weak. Can't seem to get out of bed. What day is it? I, I can't remember. Sounds pretty bad. Where did you get it? Well, I think I got sick from one of my <coughs> clients. I was feeling fine until I, I, uh, I saw her a few days ago. Who was this client? She was just a woman who called. She, uh, she found my ad in the newspaper. <coughs> Usually only do business with referrals, you know, but she was offered a lot of money. Can you tell me her name? <coughs> her name was Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. I'm usually not too good with names, you know, but hers was so strange. <coughs> I can't seem to get it out of my head. Was there anything else strange about her? Yeah, I, I mean, I think so. <coughs> to tell you the truth, I don't really remember a whole lot about that night, you know. <coughs> Everything's a little blurry, you know. I mean... I'm not usually, you know, into women, but I remember feeling so attracted to her. I thought she was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. <laughs> well, the next thing that's clear <laughs> is when I woke up the next morning. <laughs> I've been feeling too well since then. To tell you the truth, I have other friends who've, who've uh, worked with her and they're not doing so hot either, you know? <laughs> Sounds like she gave you something. Where did you meet her? She had a room at the Empire Hotel. I can't remember the number. <coughs> hey, are you sure that Paul's okay? He's not sick, is he? Paul's just fine, Hannah. Don't you worry about him. <coughs> Good. He, he's a nice guy. <coughs> I hope he calls me again sometime. I'm sure he will. I hope so. I really do. <coughs> Rest in peace, Hannah. Uh... Say now, Wonder Girl. Seeing the kind of commando gear you been stocking up on, you ain't just using that stuff for keeping the neighbors away from your shit, is you? No. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, that's your business, okay? I just figured somebody with a shopping list like yours might be up for a little action zone, all right? I'm listening. Yo, I need a hardcore pimp killing Cleopatra Jones for a supersized skull. Straight up Foxy Pam Grier style. Still with me? Get to the point. Yo, here's what's going down. I got a tip that the Chinatown Tone and some local boys are meet down at the nearby parking garage to carry out a business deal. Now, I can't tell you what they is exchanging, but let's just say a certain client of mine is ready to drop some Uncle Sam-sized bucks to acquire what's in briefcase number one. You get it for me, I'ma not only give you a cut, but I roll out my special stock as well. Now, how that sound? I'll do it. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Now, if you're the straight-out hard-boiled Terminator type, I'd suggest you buy some heavy firepower before you roll up to the parking garage. You need anything? I might. Let me see what you have. Um... Oh, that's not what I want to... What do I have? Let's get rid of this one. We want that. Okay. 
I don't really want that. Do we have crossbow arrows? Probably not. No. You sure you don't want the bubble gum? Okay. That's what I needed. blood though.
That's what I'm talking about. the last one. Oh shit! One more. I didn't see him. is it for that level. Y'all chase me up here. There it is. No. That's not it. Make them chase me.
I guess I can't get the briefcase yet until they're all dead. Somebody has a briefcase. Are we done with this yet? Let's get out of here. Baby girl! Got the briefcase. Outstanding! Pass it here, girl. Yeah, that's beautiful. Everything looks in order. <laughs> Somebody somewhere got to be pissed off by losing this. <laughs> Too bad I sent my main girl here after him. <laughs> All right. Let me peel off a few bills for you. I'll just drop this nice. off to the new owner in the morning. Then I'm gonna give me a big old steak. Not that domestic stuff, neither. I'm gonna order up 32 ounces of Kobe beef, the expensive shit. You wanna come? My treat. Uh, sorry, Larry. I have plans for tomorrow. 